It is common for most people as they grow older to gradually lose good hearing. The loss of one's hearing happens over a prolonged period of time just like any other normal changes people experience as they age. The gradual change of hearing loss in the inner ear is called presperchusis. The textbook definition of the term presperchusis is a normative age-related loss of the ability to hear high-pitched tones. In Chapter 3 of our textbook, it mentions that presperchusis occurs earlier and more severely than the loss of sensitivity to low-pitched tones. Presperchusis is important to learn about because there are several ways you can damage your hearing. Learning about these might prevent you from damaging your hearing at a young age. Aside from attending concerts or listening to music at a loud volume, using your headphones and listening to music at high volumes can cause significant damage to your hearing as well. One research finding says that the risk factors for ARHL include blood pressure, alcohol use, and cigarette consumption. Through animal studies, researchers are looking for other contributing factors like environmental exposures such as noise or drugs of the ear canal. It is important to know the cause of a person's presperchusis because different causes have different treatment methods. The four main causes of presperchusis are sensory, neural, metabolic, and mechanical presperchusis. In our textbook, Chapter 3, there is a list of several research findings. One study indicates that almost 60% of adolescents and young adults listen to music on personal devices at dangerous levels and significant losses in hearing ability result. The second research finding shows that by the time people reach their 70s, approximately half of older adults have presperchusis. This graph from our textbook shows the statistic that men typically have greater hearing loss than women. Hearing loss is gradual but starts to advance at age 40. Another research statistic found in the textbook is about the impact of hearing loss. According to researchers, hearing loss itself does not cause social disorders or emotional disturbances, but it still impacts the older adult. This is because the hearing loss may have a negative effect on family and friends related to the adult. Hearing loss can make interpersonal communication difficult for everyone. Over 11% of adults with hearing loss report having experienced moderate to severe depression. This is twice the rate of adults who do not have any hearing loss. It is important for people to understand the problems associated with hearing loss. By knowing the problems hearing loss can cause, people can take the steps to reduce the effects of hearing loss on their loved ones. A peer-reviewed study titled Advances in Understanding of Presperchusis from the Journal of Neuroscience Research uses the abbreviation ARHL. This is another name for presperchusis. ARHL stands for Age-Related Hearing Loss. According to the article, most people over the age of 70 in the U.S. are affected by ARHL. In addition, ARHL has been linked to both mental and physical health. The report says there is a connection between ARHL and numerous problems experienced by the older adult. ARHL can cause an increased risk of falls, depression, loneliness, dementia, and cognitive decline. ARHL also represents an economic burden for older adults, as approximately $3 billion are spent on medical expenses such as hearing aids and cochlear implants. This research shows that not only does ARHL have negative effects on the patient with significant hearing loss, but a lot of the time ARHL goes untreated. Because of this, it can negatively affect the patient, immediate family members, and the economy. It is challenging to study ARHL in humans because most, most analysis have to be done after death. Presperchusis affects one's daily life. Hearing loss is significant because if you do not have good hearing, you are at a disconnect with the world around you. Feelings of anxiety, depression, anger, embarrassment, and behavioral issues are most likely to arise when one cannot hear well. An article in Frontiers in Neuroscience from 2018 focuses on the high incidence of both presperchusis and dementia amongst the geriatric population. The study reviews the connection between hearing loss and diseases like dementia and Alzheimer's. Researchers contributing to this article found that in patients with Alzheimer's, their central auditory processing function was not working well. Upon reviewing these patients' auditory systems, researchers found that there are pathological changes in the auditory system. This suggests a strong correlation between presperchusis and dementia.
According to the article, Alzheimer's and dementia are not only debilitating conditions on their own, but also contribute to secondary diseases like cardiovascular disease and tumors. Therefore, it's important to find ways of preventing Alzheimer's and diagnosing and treating hearing loss may be one way of preventing an older adult from entering into years of medical problems, both cognitive and physical. Researchers are exploring whether improving hearing function can reduce the risk of dementia. In clinical trials explained in the study, researchers found that people with hearing loss had reduced gray matter in the cortex portion of their brain. This is the part of the brain that is related to attention and emotion. Studies show that the more severe the hearing loss, the more sluggish the cortical response. This research finding shows us the figure of the auditory brainstem system. An ear, nose, and throat doctor at John Hopkins did a study in 2011 that concluded that hearing loss is a major factor contributing to dementia. He is now doing research into whether hearing aids can help prevent dementia. I remember watching my own grandmother become more and more isolated because she could not hear. She refused to admit that anything was wrong and did not get hearing aids. We could tell that her lack of hearing was preventing her from socializing and that her memory was failing. We finally convinced my grandmother to get hearing aids because my mom showed her the research that says a loss of hearing can lead to dementia. She was terrified of having dementia in large part because she had seen her husband decline from it. Once she got hearing aids, she started engaging in conversations and answering questions that she previously did not realize she was missing. In conclusion, presbycusis is more than just hearing loss. It has long-term effects that can result in damage to one's physical and mental health if untreated. Many people think that hearing loss is just a part of aging, but it can be prevented and treated, and that can greatly enhance an older adult's quality of life. Protect your hearing, and it will protect your overall health. Thanks.